We're gonna go right there, but I gotta put the camera down. So we made it, finally. That was a really long cruise. We left at like 5.30, something like that, huh, buddy? And then we just got in at 6 to Newport, Rhode Island. We're on a town morning, morning, morning. And we're gonna be here for a week, I believe, to explore and play and catch up. We're behind in some work for Brayden's job and for Mermaid Monster. Just admin stuff, and we have some magazine interviews we have to do, and some podcast interviews that we've been asked to be on. So this week we're just gonna kind of take it easy and work, but also we're gonna hit up our favorite spots here in Newport, Rhode Island. Hi, huh, buddy. Like right now, we're gonna go to Paris Salado to our favorite little taco spot. And Leo has never been; it's his first time. So we're gonna hail the launch and go to dinner. And then we'll see you guys probably in another episode next week. Such a pretty moon tonight. Wow. So we've spent the last few days just catching up, doing projects or whatnot, just walking around Newport, Rhode Island. Out there is the craziest super moon tonight, uh, full moon. Tomorrow we are doing like a regular boat day, like day in the life of boat, whatever I'm trying to say. And we're gonna bring you guys along. Um, we're on a mooring, we'll talk about that. We'll talk about getting in the boat and where we dock it and some tips and tricks for this area specifically. Um, and then also uh, how we get packages. We have packages we have to pick up in a few different places. Uh, when we're moving locations all the time, that's a question we get asked all the time. And then also, um, we're going to go do our favorite walk in this area, but in reverse. And it's an area most people, I don't think, know about, which is cool. And we're going to eat at one of our favorite spots. And uh, what else? We have a little bit of work, a little bit of school. It's one, oh, we're going to talk to the ferry about taking a trip to Block Island for the day. So I'm rambling, but it's one of those days where we're cleaning, we're getting everything done. We do a little of everything, so we figured we would just share that with you. But for right now, I'm gonna go to bed because I'm really tired. Everyone ready? Ready. We're ready. Rooney. You ready? Yeah. What are we doing? Uh, going into town. Give us an intro. What are we doing? Going into town. Going on errands. Going on. Listen to her. We make it fun. Well, say, I don't know how to. Say, hey boys and girls, today we are going to. Be Blippi. Hi boys and girls, I'm Blippi. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <Woo>. <laughs> Hey, hey, get your life jacket on right now. Hey, the kids want new life, the kids want new life jackets. Well, I think Rooney fits pretty well. <laughs> they don't fit, it's like Chris Farley, you know? They don't buckle or zip. So by the time any Coast Guard sees us, we will have new life jackets, don't worry. I don't think the Coast Guards watch this. <laughs> I 
I know for most of you that watch YouTube videos like ours, you enjoy seeing the highest of highs and lowest of lows, but honestly, truly, most of boat life is like this. Just the in-between everyday life adventures like finding groceries, getting mail, entertaining the kids, schooling the kids, and finding stuff like milk and or soap or whatever. Newport is easy. The town moorings have launch access. They're first come, first serve. If you don't get one, there's plenty of space to anchor. There's a grocery store, marine supply shop, sweet arcade for the kids, great sailing museum, and lots of parks, shops, and food to eat at, and places to walk to. We thoroughly enjoy this place. No? You dizzy me? for lunch and now we're going back and I'm gonna cook spaghetti squash. That's probably really backlit, huh? Can't see me. Yeah. So we're just getting back. It's dinner time. I'm gonna go make spaghetti squash for dinner. Brayden's favorite. Maybe he won't cut his Last hand today. Last time she did spaghetti squash, I cut my old thumb off. Yeah, I'm gonna let him use the, the good knives today. Yeah, because last time she told me Hey, don't use the good knives to cut the spaghetti squash. I don't want you to ruin them. Anyway, I had promised a full day with the camera, but it didn't happen. Uh, Leo doesn't even have pants on right now. So we picked up a package at UPS. That's a quick tip if you're looking to get mail and you're a boater. You can send things to like the post office or UPS FedEx store and pay a fee to pick it up. Then we went to Walmart to get diapers and stuff like that and met up for lunch with a friend. And yeah, that's pretty much all we did. Now we're gonna go back and eat dinner. Too close.
if not, thank you. I'm cutting them this time for Brayden because he doesn't want to cut his hand off, he said. These are hard. I mean, I microwaved it first, before even, to help it. But now we're gonna just see if we can crack it open. Like, oh, it's so hot. Okay, I'll do it like this. And crack it open. Oh yeah, there we go. Okay, we got it. See, I don't need a man to do this. I got it. Doesn't look so pretty, but it'll be okay. All right, so that's one. We're gonna put olive oil and salt and pepper on it and just smear it all over and then we will roast it 425 uh, for like 30 minutes and then it gets all crispy on the top and that's how you know when you see the spaghetti start flaking uh, off the edges, that's how you know it's ready. Um, you also scoop out all this stuff, so I gotta do that right now, actually. I forgot to do that. That's actually funny. It works um, really good. And then, yeah, I make a meat sauce, just a basic tomato meat sauce uh, with lots of beef. And um, sometimes I add cream to make it a, like a creamy meat sauce, uh, like a meaty pink is what we call it. Um, but tonight I'm just keeping it basic. Yeah, that's it. This one's pens. Once they come out, they look like this. I wanna show them like this. And all you start doing is you shred. The noodles start falling apart. It's actually kind of fun. You get them all out, and then you start turning them, mixing them with the oil on top. This is how you create healthy noodles, and they're really good. And after that, you put the meat sauce on, just on top, like spaghetti plate or a bowl, and parmesan on that, and voila, it is delicious. Okay, so we just finished dinner. I am also popping in cookies because I'm a nice mom. So the kids are gonna get cookies and then I promised them we would go into the arcade and I'll spare you that because we don't need to listen to arcade noises on a peaceful Sunday morning um, for you guys. But uh, yeah, this was kind of a typical day. I don't know if this is a full episode or not. If the video continues, then it wasn't a full episode. And if it ends here, then we'll see y'all next week. So, cheers. Where are we? We're at the kite park. Can I? Brenton Point State Park, I think. It's really cool. I don't know how we haven't been here before. Leo's loving it. Loving the kite. Come on. Look at the tiny house.
Well, it's time to say goodbye to Newport, Rhode Island and move on to the next location. It's a weird thing, this boat life. On one hand, you feel so steady. Life flows while it's moving forward in a flowing life pattern like the ocean. But there's also this nagging feeling of unsettlement that never dissipates. It's there like the breath of wind on the back of my neck. Acknowledged but forgotten. As long as we're moving. But enough of that. We will see you all next week for more adventures on Mermaid Monster.